Stadium in Piscataway as top 20 Rutgers get set for its one followed by Princeton coming up this Saturday and then UMass Knights 52% win save average. Yeah, he made 11 saves in the win over Hofstra as Rutgers and controlled by another freshman playing beyond his years Colin Cordilla just had a hat trick the other day against Hofstra. 20 on the shot clock as he ducks inside and the Scarlet Knights are on the board. That is a Cardilla right onto the crease. He's a midi that goes back to X. He could play up top right side of the cage behind. and just takes a great shot here with a stick on him. Shoots it low defense. Try not to take the ball away. Just get position so you don't leave hands free and shots. And here's Scott operating 1v1. Ooh. And so trying to get some extra players in today to try to Lighten the load in the midst of a busy stretch. He's got his hands free. That was a big run, but a save. Talk more about that in a sec. Played for Tom Hayes back in the late 90s. But the one key for him today is his team tries for what would be a massive upset, being clean in the middle of the field. And a turnover near oh, box. There's, a, there's sparks flying in that box. You have to, you have to stay up with that and not get caught. Uh, Rutgers, we know, loves to rub the NASCAR engines. And first save made by Carr in the second midfield line. Now, Cardin Stoller has made some bailout saves at points already. Now, Scott gets his hands free, but off the free guy. Krummenacher with the shot clock halfway through. Gets his hands free and what? Yeah, he just drove down the alley, planted his foot, came back lefty, and let it go. See him right here, just changes. Yeah, we're definitely looking for that. You know. Ross Scott is always going to draw the top defender. You need a couple of guys to contribute on. Shot clock's at 25. Working the short stick from behind. It's Colin Cordilla. Bullying and five-hole goal. Impressive stuff already from Colin Cordilla. So Cordilla Mentioned is the starting to work from X and Scott working from up top. Pick your poison. You're going to play Scott up top? Applying his trade now in Piscataway. First drawn out faceoff we've seen. Uh -oh. Detroit Mercy's got it, and they dunk it in! Hey, by Detroit Mercy's LSM Owen Mullet Just takes with it, the goal. Puts it over oh. the head of Stala. A tote. He's not going to run away. He wants his kids to be challenged. And right now, 3-1, to one, halfway through this first quarter, and a shot there off the iron. Could have... What, what the rankings on you play because you're a competitor. They got numbers here. Rutgers out of the box. Here it goes. And it's a shot. On the give and oh. go. And again, got the lead. And looking for more. Krummenacher on the shuffle for Amon and pull it back. He's going to get a shot here. Perfect first step. And that is that shot beat Ryan Richters. And it's a goal for Nick Tereski. Right there, a little jab step. When he went the other way, there was nothing. I would have left, left the shot from the high crease. Just went a little wide. Nice. Only seven seconds on the shot clock. Look inside. Wow. Oh, Quick oh. offense for the Scarlet Knights. That's and a set inbound play, Dom. <laughs> you and got, no surprise you who it right comes here. from. Bang. That's a set play. It's called an inbound play. But Sharon and Dante Coolis. Amon's got one. Almost had another. Amon, that got blocked. Now, uh, basically, bring us to the end of the period. Tereski, maybe. Last second. Bounced it. Oh, looked like it hit the Seaholm High School back in Michigan, which was the same high school that Alexi Lawless went to. And was one big reason why it got on his radar. His alum mate sets Ross Scott scoring a goal against his current team. Yeah, that Better was quick. than anybody I've seen so far this year. Bar none. Guy who scored four times in the two games that Detroit Mercy's played. On the other side, just one save for Cardin Stoller, who has to defend this from point blank, and it went wild. Probing. Rook is doing a nice job of sliding and covering the first slide. They're just rotating correctly. It comes a shot. An opening, and it hits. Now block one of the six goal scorers Rutgers has had so far. What a dodge, and that one goes wide. It was just went high and wide. Inside oh. positioning, Krummenacher, top corner. Tough for Krummenacher once he gets past you like that. Goal line extended, when you two see things goal line here. extended, and he's working him hard. 
Chrome not gonna work on him hard. You better put yourself in position to send one on one drawing slides, drawing doubles. That attack unit that's good now can be even better. And here comes a shot. It goes wide. Players, they're playing in great programs. Division three is very competitive to begin with. The big adjustment is the speed of the game and the shot selection. A step down and fast the game increases from what from my from my perspective. From between D1 is a nice feed. Side. Rutgers really moving in. John Sidorsky, the Lehigh transfer benefits. Yeah, His I mean, free basically. open space, recognized. Ball is passed inside. Sort of lead ourselves, it's not just me. Yeah, like any great leader, he's not going to take the credit. He's going to pass it on to his teammates. Good save there. Yeah, Cordilla got hit by the ball or pushed in an awkward way. It makes you hold your breath with 14 guys already out. Yeah. Here comes a shot. Swerving through traffic. It will not go. Challenging to clear here. Yeah, Lucky. one second on the oh, timer. Barely across. There's the opening. Oh, there was. Same. Owen Mullet, their LSM, scored it midway through the first. Now, since then, Rutgers has scored five in a row. And a chance for even more. Rutgers, hey. James Ringer has his first goal of the season. Yeah, James Ringer goal line extended. Nice. He'll take them one way, step, go the other way. You know, in their two-man game, they're making the slides. The matchups are better. It wasn't just their doubles when they doubled and slid. The secondary slide wasn't there. On Sidorsky, with Rutgers on a 6 nothing run since the middle of the first quarter. Got to try to get a shot off here. And Tereski. Here he comes. Bouncing ball that goes in. One and another one, and this time John Sidorski has got his second of the day. On that shot clock, there was only two or three seconds left to go for Rutgers. They had to get a shot. Freshman Cordilla sharing it. And a timer at 15 as they keep it moving. Ringer on the swim, and lefty. Ringer had game like that. Well, I'll tell you what, the shot selection there is pretty Nobody good. Save it. I mean, for him. See you right here. Wow. That's good. Yeah, today, Ryan Splain is out. Late, a late scratch to Rasta. Yeah, the two new ones. Oh, good look across. I'll get to that in a sec. Ooh, five. Give them a rest and hope that they're healthy and can play on Sunday. Final two minutes of the opening half. Seconds in here for Detroit. Mercy is chasing. Improvement right now, besides stopping the ball, obviously, <laughs> <laughs> is his outlet passes. We haven't seen that. In a while, here comes a shot and a goal. Hanacher, he's been working on it, and finally has his second as a Scarlet Knight. You got it, Stoller, the outlet pass. When you start putting pressure on defenses, challenge from up top. There's Drew Kesnick. Good slide by Rutgers. That shares to Majic. Under 20 seconds, Majic with a trail chip. So fifth turnover for the Scarlet Knights, and easy clear there for Detroit Mercy. Well, we see that Ross Scott is off the field and being replaced. Nice save right there. Here's Lucas Goler. And stopped again. Play your own game. You have to play what you're comfortable with. and Stop trying to make plays to make things happen. You're right here, you're going to get a nice shot just high and wide. Basics. And, you know, I, I, I'm sure a coach has told him, listen, we want to play to win, but we want to, oh, nice shot there. Nice hard bounce shot. Right. Played to get a goal, and Luke Majic, like the most veteran of the bunch. Overhand on. bounce shot for you young players. There's nothing better than that. Some minutes on the field. Now Detroit Mercy, Chris Colin. he said what we're going to get today from Rutgers, as it's <laughs> not like Cabo at this time of year, that's for sure. No, they're used to this weather today. This this be a nice day. <laughs> Look inside there, good shot. Nice save. And it's now Detroit Mercy's had some guys make plays. Kyle Loken won, but end of the shot clock here. Five seconds. Wide open, Tereski. Yes. Inside. See him right here. Right across. Recognizes that he's halfway through the penalty. And there's Cordilla operating from Ross Scott's spot. Step down and a stop this week. Can't give those opportunities. Doesn't matter what the score is, you don't want to make those silly mistakes. Yeah, got to give him that space to restart as well. A ripper from Luke. 
radar gun with that shot. Yeah, nice lefty shot from up Opposite high and hip wide. high for a goalie. See it right here. See many kids from different states. Now you see lacrosse has grown. I mean, so much growth in lacrosse. Kids from all over. Good take there. Tom Hayes nameplates on the back of their jerseys for every single game they played that year from the season opener to the final four game. And no, he's not around to see it. Was a defensive coach for Rutgers for many, many years under Tom Hayes and with Tom Hayes. Um, it's been our passion. And a good shot there. Well, appropriately, a guy from Korea Upstate, goal. That was a beautiful look inside there. A pass he was. Yeah. So Tom Hayes is the reason why is that stopped by oh, Fagan. Nice yeah, James up into the crease to set this up. A 30-second penalty. Comes a shot. There's McDonough. Yeah, so that pass is going to be knocked down or taken away. One hand grab by Majic. Here comes a shot. Running down the alley and hit is often. Of course, Rutgers always has its sights on getting to the NCAA tournament, the number 16 team in the country. And adding another goal. Hold the goal coming from Zach Walsh, who has been working so hard shot. for it. I like, I yeah. like his style. See it right here. He coils and lets it go. Low offshore dom. I mean, you know, every game, I know this is an overset statement, but every game is important. I mean, you'd think this is not important. Goal there. Of the day. Back pocket. Van Antwerp, the freshman who just scored his first. Good take there, right there. Good bounce shot. Everybody's talking about playoffs already. You, you know, you have conferences. What I didn't realize until a few weeks ago that the ACC does not get an automatic. ACC only has five. Yeah. But out of that ACC, four of the teams are in the top 10 with North Carolina in the top 20. So I know that's long-winded and it's early, but I mean this tournament as of today, a good shot right Yeah, can we here. appreciate out there playing needs to perform because at some point or another, you're going to be comp competing for another spot. Nice shot there, good inside. Oh, we're getting goals left and right. Hard charge and a goal from Chase Mahabir. His goal Here line extended is, is, a, is the dodge that 15 seconds to go. Let's see if this group can get a shot off. Here's Carroll, scored once before. One, one of the calls we didn't make today was that Ross Scott Stands at 99 career goals after the goal he got today. Hoping we could, I save there and shot. Abilities of these players, and I think they'll play well. I hope for an even better performance. Good and save. one save, getting a chance to play here at the end of this one. And it was a good one, Dom. Yeah. Oh, look at this. That was nice. He gonna get a shot here, and he does. McDonough. And a yeah, pocket. McDonough. Look at he's done in the fourth quarter. He's got two goals. See right there, beautiful. That's <laughs> beautiful. Detroit Mercy with a Rutgers alum leading Detroit Mercy. Scarlet Knights get win number five on the season, and oh, they are all ref hardware on the line Sunday at noon. Always a great game. Please join us on BTN Plus for that one. From SHI Stadium for Rick Mercurio and the rest of our hardworking, outstanding Rutgers Big Ten Plus crew. I'm Dom Savino saying thank you for joining us from.